Now I'm going to show you the easy way of calculating the internal resistance of a battery using only two components and four connecting wires. We're going to use a voltmeter, an ammeter and four wires and we're going to vary in a minute or two. We're going to calculate the internal resistance of a cell. So I'm going to just move this and show you what formula we use. We're going to use the formula EMF epsilon equals I capital R plus I little r. Where we're going to have zero external resistance going to be zero ohms. So we're going to short circuit it. We're going to measure the EMF, which is the maximum voltage when no current flows. We're going to work out the current, the maximum current, when there's no external resistance, you get a, the, the biggest current possible. So this is going to be the maximum current, the biggest current. We're going to work it, we're going to measure that. And then that same current will flow through the internal resistor as through the external circuit and the zero. Now, do you see that if our external, if that is zero, I times zero is going to fall away. So our formula is going to change to E equals I little r. And that's when the voltage is going to be a max. That's when the current is going to be a max because the resistance is going to be zero. So all we need to find for to find internal resistance is when is the voltage maximum, when is the current maximum, and the current is the maximum when there's no external resistance. So we're going to have a short circuit. I'm going to try it with this battery. So do you see how we've set it up? We've got our battery set up so that we've got, look at that, our voltmeter, it's all set up. So now let's read the maximum voltage that, or the EMF of it. So if we look, each of those markings is going to be a half a volt. So it's going to be one, two, three. So it's going to be 8.2. 8.2. So now we fill in our EMF, which is the maximum voltage, is 8.2 volts. We, remember, we got, we're going to have no external resistance, all we're going to do is put an ammeter across it. Now, at the moment, our ammeter is not connected. It's measuring zero. So look at that. There's our ammeter. There's the positive side. Well, let's get a positive wire for our ammeter. Let's not use a black wire. Let's use a red wire. Okay, so there's a red wire to the red side. And it's going to go red to red to the, and I'm going to now connect this and make a short circuit. But I want us to watch what happens to the ammeter as we short circuit it. Now we're going to get our maximum current. Watch. Four point, each of those is point, 4.4, it's falling to 4.2. And soon it's going to fall to four. There the needle is on four. On the lowest scale. Because we've attached it to the five amp. So now 4.4. And now I've disconnected it and it's fallen back. So our IMAX came to 4.4 amps. Okay, so we plug our values in. Eight comma two equals when resistance is zero four comma four r so r becomes eight comma two divided by four comma four reach for the trusty calculator eight 4.2 divided by 4.4 equals 1.86, 1.86 ohms, 1.86 ohms is the internal resistance of that 
salve. Now, how easy was that? A scientist like to do things quick, easy, especially as I don't think we're sacrificing any accuracy here. That little fraction of an ohm that you might get by another method is ridiculous. A fraction of an ohm hardly counts because we've got resistance in wires, we've got resistance in ammeters, etc. And anyway, this is, this is actually more accurate than finding it by the means of a very long and complicated finding the slope angle of a volts versus current um, graph. Do you see how quick and easy this is? This is what science is about, folks. It's about finding quick and easy and dirty ways of, of doing things. And this is not even a dirty way. I'm don't, I feel totally clean and happy and see this big smile on my face. I managed to find the internal resistance of a battery in just a fraction of the time it would take normally, which means less than a minute. I've done, dusted. That's science, folks. That's, that's what I love about science. Anything that can be done quickly, efficiently. This is what science is about. If we can manufacture something, we don't want to cost the most and take the longest time to manufacture it. That's not science. That's awful. We want to do things. Science is about doing things efficiently, quickly, accurately. Yes, but here we're not trying to fly someone to the moon. We're just trying to find the internal resistance of a battery. If we're a fraction of an ohm out, it doesn't matter. We've still got approximately the correct answer.